It's funny. A while ago when I discovered I was going to have radiation for my cancer, followed by a, a brief period of isolation due to my radioactivity, a friend, totally tongue-in-cheek, suggested I launch a devotional during this time of isolation called Radioactive. Nice, Sean. Well, here we are. Now, I, I looked up the word radioactive, and amidst various definitions, I found this. When an object gives off a certain kind of energy. Now, before you go places, I don't want you to go with that definition. Allow me to explain my thinking. The word energy comes from the Greek energia, meaning en, or comes from en, in or within, and ergon, work. This is an inner working. Hello, this is sounding like Philippians content to me. You know, Philippians 2.13, it is God who works in you both to will and to work for his good pleasure. Now, as followers of Christ, this is what the Holy Spirit does in each one of us. And I wanted to invite you to embark on a journey with me over the next 31 days. Take a closer look at something you've most likely seen many times before. Now, what you think of their coffee, their company, or their policies has nothing to do with this illustration, so get that out of your mind. They call this girl on their logo a siren, a two-tailed mermaid, but they've done something intentionally asymmetrical with her nose and right eye. Notice it? The, the original logo was apparently too perfect of a face, so this design with a slightly mysterious asymmetrical facial feature was chosen. You see, the details were important to convey a message. Now, Lord willing, over the next month, here is what I aim to do. Let's go into your Bible and examine Psalm 1, 1 to 3, and focus our attention on 31 angles of this blessed man from Psalm 1. One angle for each day of the month each starting with the letter P. Now, it starts out, blessed is the man. This is the one we want to learn about, but there's a danger of examining things close up. You see, we might miss the big picture, and that is a mistake we don't want to do. This is not going to become, this is not going to be about becoming more intelligent or uh, just smart. Rather, it's about being intimate, intimacy with God. Nor is this primarily about information or even an illustration of a blessed man, but introspection. Introspection that brings about change in us. Transformation into Christ's likeness. The details of the psalm expose depth, design, direction that we might know him and make him known. So you're invited. Starting tomorrow, Lord willing. Now follow along. Share it with friends, online, small groups. That's great but please don't stop there. This is about treasuring Jesus more. Take time to absorb the content, journal, be convicted by the Holy Spirit, and then follow along in obedience. You're so loved. So press on and press on with us.